Well, Tom Hall has, well, he was here. I, know. I expect he'll be back, but, uh, <laughs> well, here's what happened. We had a, um, we had a, um, a cancellation at the last minute, and I called Tom and said, look, these people can't come. Can you do us a show in February, at the end of February? And he said, well, Maybe I haven't been practicing. I've been sick and this and that and the other thing. And I said, I said, oh come on. And so, <laughs> so he said, well, yeah, he's going to call in for reinforcements. And so, so this is going to be. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh yes, you do. <laughs> you invited them. I don't. <laughs> Dave Black is here with his guitar. Margaret Bianchetta, with her flute, is here. And we have a drummer, and I forgot his name. Joe Winters, <laughs> Joe Winters I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when so and anybody sticks a mic in your face, you're going to forget your own name, let alone somebody else's. So, so it's going to be a really wonderful show. Whatever this man tells you, it's going to be fun. So... Um, Please sit back and enjoy yourself, and if you clap, the rest of them will come out eventually. Well, we're going to do it in stages. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just a hardcore blues tune, get that out of the way. We've got a lot of ground to cover here, and then I'll do a Hawaiian tune, and then we'll get Dave up, and uh, then we'll get Margaret up. See what happens. Yes, I love my phonograph, but she broke my winding chain. Yes, I love my phonograph, but she broke my winding chain. You done took my loving, mm, give it to some other man. Well, we played it by the sofa, we played it side the wall. My needle done got rusty every night, play it all. We played it by the sofa, yeah, we played it side the wall. But my needle done got rusty, it will not play at all.
baby, I go crazy. I would lose my mind. Yeah, baby, I go crazy. I would lose my mind. Go back, get your clothes. Oh, try my loving one more time. Thank you and good night. I just wanted to get that out of the way so that you were Here's a song I don't know very well. I don't know the name of it. I don't know where I got it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I just call it Aloha. Open G tune in case you're wondering.
Okay, here's the, uh, what we did, we did a blues tune, a Hawaiian tune, now we're gonna do a little Americana tune. Um, this is one I learned, what I thought I learned, let's just put it that way, a long, long time ago. I never got it right, I still don't know if I got it right, but um, I switched tunings, and uh, Dale will give you a history on the rest of it. I'm in D tuning. Hope you're all taking notes. That means he's D tuning. before we get into it. Anyway, this is a tune that uh, uh, I fought with forever. I'm still fighting it. But uh, about, I don't know how many years ago it was. It wasn't in the last century, I know that, but fairly close. Um, I saw a transcription of it, and there's two guitar players on it, which is why I can never figure it out. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Now we'd like to welcome Miss Margaret Meinke to the stage, please. It was the third of June, another sleepy soul to Delta Day. I was out chopping cotton, and my brother was bailing hay. Oh, and at dinner time, we stopped and walked back to the house to eat. Out the back door, y'all remember? Wipe your feet. She said, I got some news today. Come down from Chuck Tower Ridge. Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Said to mama as he passed around all the black guy in peace. Billy John never had a lick of sense. Oh, mm, pass the biscuits, please. There are five more acres in the lower 40 and got to plow. Mama said it was a shame about Billy Joe, anyhow. Seemed like nothing ever come to no good. Come down from Chuck Dorridge. Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. My brother said he recollected when he and Tom and Billy Joe put a frog down my back at the Carroll County picture show. Wasn't I talking to him at the church home last Sunday night? Think I'll have another piece of apple pie. Don't seem so right. Seem like nothing ever come to no good. Help on Chuck Dorridge. Billy Joe McAllister was throwing something off the Tallahassee Bridge.
Year has come and gone since we heard the news about Billy Joel. Brother married Becky Thompson, they bought a storm down to Colombo. A virus was going around, Papa caught it and he died last spring. Now mama don't seem to want to do much of anything. Oh me, I spend a lot of time picking flowers. Oh, hey up on Choctaw Ridge. Drop them into the muddy water off the Tallahassee. Let's do a um, song for my father first. Just to switch it up, switch the pace up. Right. Hold on a second. No. I have to get the chart out for that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we can just draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> Great, you guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mysterious. Mm. Maybe I should have a Hawaiian or something for that. What? I'd love to have a Hawaiian or something like that. Aloha. Aloha. That's, that's the title. Right? That means Come goodbye on. and hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. We're hearing some of these songs for the first time, too. So. <laughs> you say, us, you say aloha <laughs> and I say aloha. <laughs> aloha, aloha. Hey, uh, Eric, I'm, I'm not on or something. <laughs> Song for my father. Thank you. 
Speaker from Montgomery. Now? Yeah. Why not? That's a surprise. Oh, gee. Yeah. Let's do a long one today. Yeah, a really long one. <laughs> I am an old woman named after my mother. My old man is another child that's grown old. Dreams are lightning, thunder was desire. This old house would have burnt down a long time ago. Make me an angel. For Montgomery, make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing, hey, I can hold on, on to to believe in this living. It's just a hard way. to look at just a free rambling man oh that was a long time no matter how hard I tried years just rolled by like a broken down dam make me an angel flies from Montgomery make me a poster
kind of person go to work in the morning come home in the evening and have nothing to say make me an angel flies from Montgomery make me a poster hard way to go hey ooh, make me an angel flies from Montgomery make me a poster of an old rodeo just give me one thing that I can hold on to to believe in this living it's just a hard way to go To believe in this living It's just a hard way to go don't know what love is until you've learned the meaning of the blues till you had love you had to lose oh you don't know what love you kissed and had to pay the cost till you flipped your heart all you have lost oh you don't know what love is so do you know how a lost heart fears The thought of rubbing the same And all two lips, the taste of tears Soon lose their taste for kissing And you don't know how hearts burn for a love that cannot live yet never dies till you faced each dawn with sleepless eyes you don't know what love
So do you know how a lost heart feels? The thought of reminiscing. Taste of tears soon lose their taste for kissing. Oh, you don't know how hearts burn for a love that cannot live yet never dies till you face each dawn. Eyes. Oh, you don't know. You will never know what love didn't sound so horribly heavy to me, right? It's, it's yeah. very sad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> heavy in the best way. So now we go to Tina? I guess. God. What the heck? It's quiet in here. Jeez. Any questions? Yeah, what are, what are we going to play here? Any, any answers? I've been trying the tears for the entire hour. Here, let's see what <laughs>
love to do take a break. You had, you had enough? I don't. I had nothing in, in my mind. So. Oh no. <laughs> that's that's probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bonnie. Time for requests. No, that's not good. <laughs> Bonnie. I don't need super up. Super up. <laughs> so, so you, should I play it like this? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Man. Super up. <laughs> <laughs> Got the keys yet? Zoom. A minor. Yeah, we're zooming at concerts here. Hey, there you go. Yeah. There you go. A minor. Take it away. I'll catch up with you. Pop it off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An A minor? No, an, <laughs> an A minor? Good thing you're yeah. in the middle. <laughs> Give me a tempo.
No winners on the drums. I think with that we're gonna take a break.
Say, lovely woman, with your diamond rings. Drag that man behind you by your apron strings. Give me one for the powder and the stormboard hair. I know the man of mine when I go. Mississippi River, deep, dark, and wide. Gonna find a man on the other side. I'm going back to St. Louis. Going back to St. Louis. Going back to St. Louis. Gonna leave him on the other side. almost like uh, Ode to Billy Joe. <laughs> okay, you can do Starry Starry Night now. That's all I wanted to do the whole night was Starry Starry Night. <laughs> Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter's chills And colors on the snowy linen land And now I understand What you tried to say to me How you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free they would not listen, but they did not know how. Perhaps they will listen now. Starry, starry night. Flaming flowers that brightly blaze. Swirling clouds in a violet haze. Reflecting Vincent's eyes of china blue. All the colors changing hue. Morning fields of amber green. Weathered faces lined with pain. Soothed beneath the artist's loving hand. Now I understand what you tried to say to me. How you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now
For they could not love you But still your love was true And when no hope was left in sight On that starry, starry night You took your life as lovers often do I could have told you, Vincent This world was never meant for one as beautiful as you Starry, starry night Portraits hung in empty halls Frameless heads on nameless walls With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Like the strangers that you met Ragged men in ragged clothes The silver thorn of a bloody rose Like crushed and broken on the virgin snow And now I understand What you tried to say to me How you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Starry Starry night, starry, starry night, starry, starry night. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm going to do a tune uh, by Antonio Carlos Jovim. Uh, the Portuguese title is Chega de Sadaji, often uh, translated into No More Blues. Thank you. 
Joe Winters. Let's hear it for Joe Winters. Incredible. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I was really surprised how many people showed up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now, the. Uh, well, I'm surprised you showed up, Tom. There's truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the truth and just. last one here and uh, I'd like to thank Judy and uh, Eric and Dave and everybody else that works here um, it's been a really amazing night to me actually so uh, <laughs> come on up Margaret how about a hand for Margaret Bianchetti here yes. one time course, my favorite guitar player, Mr. Dave Black. Right back at you, man. Right back at you. My, yeah, my first gig in St. Louis back in 82. It was, uh, I believe it was August 12th, 1982. Wow. How do you Mike remember that? <laughs> it was the day after I moved here. I moved here. I moved here on the 11th, and I worked with you on the 12th. It was you know, that, it was, that fateful uh, night. I was planning on a little group called the Barbecue Band, and this was after the first confrontation. Com yeah, I got confrontation. That's good. <laughs> I like that action <laughs> of the sheiks. And um, <laughs> Tom Maloney was on bass. We uh, mauled it, is what it is. We mauled it. Yes. Anyway, so I'm playing at Micah Men's. And it was just a little trio, I think it was. Was was the sax was, player with uh, us? Mon Duo was with us. Uh, oh, really? Billy Teague. Oh, really? Wow. And uh, that's almost a band. Harold Weaver, our friend, 
Oh, Harold yeah. Weaver. Yes. He he got fired for stealing the tips out of the tip jar. <laughs> so uh, he back, was the sex. Back player. when it really mattered. <laughs> <laughs> It was all coins. He probably walked out with a limp. It was probably more than what we made on our gig. And anyway, so Dave Black shows up. I had no idea who the guy was. I never heard his name before. Um, Steve Bradford, I think, uh, called you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, he was playing in Indiana somewhere? Or what was it? Davisville? Or? Yeah, it was right by Indiana in Danville, Illinois. Oh, was Danville. Playing, I was playing a house gig with a country band. Just let Dave tell the story. <laughs> but it's not as funny though. You don't understand. I'm killing time here. Uh, anyway. And then. So D Dave comes up and he goes, "Hey man, I met this guy named Dave Bradford, and uh, he said if I, ever, you know, and we, he got to talking with him, and he said he's, he was coming to Ellen, uh, coming to St. Louis to go to Webster or something. What was it? I wasn't you? going to Webster yet. My my then wife, um, who we're still good friends, but uh, she was uh, accepted at SLU, and she got her master's oh, in social so work. Yeah. So Dave, it's Dave says, can I, can I play with you guys? And I said, well, Thane says, it's okay. It's all right with me, you know. Dave's a good player. So he got up there, and at that point, as soon as we finished the first song, I walked back to Tom Maloney, who was a guitar player, says, you're playing bass. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because he could play bass, and I couldn't play bass. So that's Because uh, Tom is a and great Tom, musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, so, so thank you, Tom, for giving me a shot. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being here, Dave. And, yeah. When I met Tom, he was my sound man. Didn't even know he played guitar. <laughs> I didn't Fast. know that. I did not know that. Fast, he was our sound man. Because I don't think Kevin was it. No, he was in the <laughs> oh, tryout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So you were like the. <laughs> you know, can, can I mention something? I, I just I thought about this here tonight, or I've been thinking about it for quite a while, actually. But uh, I just thought if we just could make it like a living room setting where we're just sitting around playing and you know, talking and having a good time. It's kind of turned into that now. <laughs> About time. Then there's, then there's this character behind here. You know, that, that, I just showed up. That's a whole different story there. <laughs> uh, and I used to see him until, um, what, last year? Uh, yeah. Webster, he was the studio manager, the studio monitor or manager or something like that and uh, I saw I saw him every day at Webster and uh, did a great job and um, but he's now doing something else that's very rewarding as well <laughs> I asked him what he was doing in different he, in different ways <laughs> <laughs> well, it's rewarding for other people. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish up with one an original piece here I wrote about well into last century. Anyway, called 920 State Street, sometimes known as the Herbs, Herb Song, and there's a story to that, but I don't think we have time for that tonight. Thank you all very much for being here.
How you going? Good night. Thank you.